What's up guys? Welcome back to Cherokee Hacks Life. So for uh, for this video, I'm gonna have to bring out my inner Brandon from Campbell Fitness. You know, you gotta I gotta channel him. Cause this is like science. And this is his thing. Science. So let's go ahead and bring out the inner Campbell. Alright? Ready? Boom! Yeah, yeah? The inner Campbell? Yeah, that's right. That's right. How the only way you can channel it, man. You gotta, gotta clean it up. <laughs> yeah, guys. Basically, here's how it breaks down. Um, there's a couple of vitamins that I would recommend for you taking that I started doing a lot of research on and what exactly is going to be helping me in terms of recovering fat faster, the ligaments and the tendons and stuff. So let me kind of break it down. I talked about it before in this other video that was pre-surgery. Pre but basically, one big one is vitamin A. <clears throat> and the reason for vitamin A, vitamin A is just because it's effective against infections. Um, it's effective in creating new tissues around like a wounded area as well. It's recommended that you take about 10,000 to 2,500 um, intake units daily. So this is about 8,000 units per gel. So I'll probably be taking two of these on a daily basis just to kind of uh, <clears throat> get my daily dosage. Now you can find this stuff in like eggs, just naturally eating foods and stuff. So I can find it in eggs, you can find it in fish. Uh, you can find it in the liver. I'll provide high levels of it, but I figured I'd get a pill for it too. Um, and then obviously vitamin C. Uh, you know, it's uh, vitamin C is vitamin C, man. It helps with, uh, it's necessary for collagen, collagen production. It's necessary for regenerating tissue. Vitamin C is obviously good as well for your immune system. It's good for um, really just helping you recover faster because that's ultimately what you want to do after surgery. You want to make sure you heal well. So I'm definitely be taking some vitamin C. And of course, you can find it in citrus products, um, juices, orange juices and stuff. But again, I figured I'd get a pill for it. Just kind of supplement a little bit extra daily. And it's recommended you take about 5,000 or 500 to 1,000 milligrams a day. So this pill right here gives me about 500 milligrams. So I'll probably just be taking one tablet of these just to kind of hit my limit. So the other one that I would recommend taking as well, especially coming post-surgery like mine. Again, I tore my labrum. Um, and that's ligament and when he goes in there's ligament damage and then again I'll show you guys the pictures as soon as I get a chance to actually put them up uh, but basically it's a uh, glucosamine and again I'm gonna fuck this name up it's chondroitin I think is how it's pronounced chondroitin um, and basically what glutamine is is it's straight up it helps you build rebuild cartilage or build cartilage um, you know the nat the body's natural shock absorbing mechanism um, it's also good for building your joints, your ligaments, your tendons. Now, the chondroitin sulfate has actually been used by doctors, and this is where you kind of have to do some medical research on your own if you don't trust me. Um, is that it's been used by doctors for like sports injuries and sports-related injuries for joints. So yeah, and, and with putting both of these together, it's actually really beneficial for your tendons and stuff. So this is definitely something I'm be taking. It's probably it was probably the most expensive one too. I want to say this pill was uh, this one here was 15 bucks maybe for this one so this is really important and then of course we have L-arginine um, and Campbell's done videos on, on L-arginine as well he goes really much more in depth than I'm gonna be actually going into this one it's an amino acid that actually just helps promote the growth hormone that gets sent through your body and obviously you need more growth hormones post-surgery to actually help you recover with the area that was actually just um, worked on um, so this is actually really beneficial um, it also helps strengthens your muscle, able to recover faster, obviously for working out. It's a good, you know, amino acid for people to be using. From everywhere that I read, it is a good idea to actually take some L-arginine post-surgery, especially on a shoulder type of surgery or a knee type of surgery. So that way it can help promote the growth, uh, the growth hormones that you need in order to recover a little bit faster. So that's basically the four vitamins that I'll be taking, guys. Nothing too crazy, nothing, uh, you know, hopefully it was really informative for you guys. And again, I mentioned this in a video prior, make sure that you're not getting the L-arginine and or getting any one of these vitamins and taking them right before surgery. You should be stopping them probably three, two to three days before you actually go into surgery. So that way there's no complications or anything. Um, you can start beforehand, especially with like the vitamin C, vitamin A, the glucosamine. Take those prior. To your surgery but once surgery day comes around you need to make sure you get off just in case your doctor doesn't tell you which I doubt they won't but you never know 
Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was informative for you. Um, and hopefully I was able to pull off uh, the Campbell. <laughs> pull out my inner Brandon. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Take care.